I saw her in Bergdorf's all black, just an all black like the omen. If you know, you know. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never ran, said no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. Hello, my darlings, it's Dion Dean. Welcome back to another video. I literally just walked in from picking up baby girl and a special package has arrived. Let's get right into that. I've been waiting. I've been waiting on these. And they said they were not going to come today because today was a holiday. But I'm like, UPS delivers. I don't understand. Okay. So do we want the backstory or do we want to go ahead and just show the shoe? I'm going to give you a little backstory while I show the shoe. In February, when I was in New York with Jesse of Cappuccinos and Consignment, we went to Bergdorf's and we went to the shoe section. And there was there were these two women that were shopping dressed in all black as they do in New York, darling. But what got me is they were at the Christian Louboutin um, section. They were trying on shoes. And one of the ladies was in all black trying on this particular boot and she got up to kind of look it looked so fly the all black with this boot it just looked edgy it looked yeah anyway i went and looked for the boot and they did not have any available anywhere because in my brain i was going to hold it i was going to put it in my cart as i do i'm a very patient shopper i will put it in a cart and a lot of times these stores will have clearance sales end of the season sales so i was going to put it in my cart and wait till the end of the season wait till like march april may and see if they had come down but there were none in my size so i was like okay let me get to the real world so i have been hunting for these on the real real since february praying that someone release them from their closet and last week da -da -da, I saw them so this is I don't even know if the name of the boot is going yes it is a boot because it was February I don't even know I don't know the name of this boot but again I saw her in Bergdorf this one I saw her in Bergdorf all black just an all black like the omen if you know you know <sighs> O-M-G These are so soft Oh my gosh Yes, I live in South Florida I could just hear y'all now Why are y'all so judgy? <laughs> you live in South Florida, do y'all stop buying boots? I have a passport I have air miles <laughs> I will find somewhere cold and I always do you guys know this I always do now I do not know the name of this boot let me see if it says it but originally I want to say that this boot was either 1795 or 1895 and I was like I'm not paying 1795 or 1895 for this boot um let me see let me come for it so here is the boot just imagine you have on black leather leggings or faux leather leggings black turtleneck big black coat and you have on these mean combat boots with the shiniest of hardware because that's what really got me the hardware it was black like she was wearing all black but then you saw this shiny shiny hardware and this fabulous chain around the back and i just i knew i had to have them and I was like, okay, so they're not available at anybody's Nordstrom, Neiman's, Bergdorf's, Saks. So I'm going to have to wait until they get on the real real. And I love them. So thanks, the river. And this is the bottom. So I'm going to have to clean the bottom. They still have some gravel and stuff. Ooh, this person was walking. And so I have had comments before of why would you want somebody's used shoes? Um, I would rather pay, and these came up to, I think, 470 something or 570 something i want the boot i would rather pre-loved leather i love when it's a little bit worn pre-loved louboutin than to spend two thousand dollars now some people have it to where they can do both they can spend the two thousand dollars and they can go and travel i'm not at that place right now so i have to budget so I would rather spend 500 here and 1500 on travel. Again, some people can do both right now. My current situation, this is like, this is how I'm moving. This is how I'm moving. So here are, this is my latest, my latest boot. Is this stretch? Oh my God, the leather. 
feels so good. I'm sorry I just keep on looking at the boot, but oh my gosh, I cannot wait to style this. And I have a trip coming up. I can't wait to show you how I style this, but I'm definitely gonna be recreating that look with the faux leather leggings, just slim leg, black turtleneck, big black coat. I'm giving I'm giving them that look. She she did that. That was a slide. Oh, she sold, you know what? She sold this one. Because if I didn't see her try on this boot, it wouldn't even, because just looking at it, it wouldn't have done anything to me. But she sold this boot. So that being said, I have two other Christian Louboutin boots. And I thought, what a great opportunity since we're getting into the fall to show you my other two boots. One I paid full price for. And if you've been a part of this channel, you know the story of these boots. Um, but let me get them down and share them with you put this away first but let me get the other boots and share them with you because that's a really cool story okay so i will leave a link to the actual video where i talked about getting this boot in up here somewhere this is a pair of turella nuba boots and they are in pristine condition because i think i've only worn them twice and you will see why this is one of my prized possessions and I will show you why those of you who've been with me know about this boot. Let me see, let me see which one is it. You guys know about this boot. This is not a surprise to you. This is, yep, yeah, probably one of the only boots, one of the probably, probably only one of the only item in my closet that I've ever paid full price for. And that is this boot. And it is because it was signed by Mr. Christian Louboutin himself. I hope that that's in focus. For Dion, love, see le boutin. So yeah, so Nordstrom 2019, fall of 2019 was when I was still over the fashion merchandising and retailing department at Johnson & Wales. One of my former students, or one of the former students of the university, um, was featured on the Tamron Hall show. And I went up a day earlier and just wanted to go and see the city, Nordstrom, and, my, and Nordstrom had just arrived at, um, in New York, in Manhattan. And I was just walking around, just viewing stuff. And I was like, where are all these people? You're gonna see it in the video. Why are these people here? He was signing boots. And so I quickly called my husband and said, listen, um, I'm about to spend this $1,200. You're about to see some money move. And he was like, uh, no, you ain't. And I was like, Christian Louboutin is signing shoes. And he's like, go on and get them shoes. Um, so thank God for a very understanding husband who understands his, listen, this was a once, never, no, not once in a lifetime. He'll sign another pair. He'll sign another few pairs of shoes. Let me correct my thoughts. Um, but just heard the excitement in my voice. It was just like, whatever, like do, do you baby. So yes, I got these boots. Again, I feel like they were twelve hundred thirty. So I don't even remember. I was in a, I was in a haze. I ain't gonna lie. So I've worn them once or twice, and I'll show you why I've only worn them once or twice because I know I got another pair of boots that I didn't have to. <laughs> I really want to just keep them as pristine. You know, I'm gonna wear them. I'm gonna wear them. They're meant to be worn. But you know, like this is this is Riley's this is Riley's shoe. But the way her foot grown, she gonna outgrow these. So I might as well just get get it in because <laughs> baby girl is wearing a she is seven wearing a, a seven, no six, something like that. Anyway, so that is my number one favorite boot, favorite anything in my closet. These are so like yeah. So I got these though. I want to say, I got these for DC. Whenever I went to DC, I don't remember when I was going to DC, but I got these and I can show you the price. I got these at Neiman's last call. These were 401, $401. Can you see that? I hope it's, I don't know. It's over there somewhere, <laughs> $401. And, oh, excuse me, they were 30% off. So I was like, listen, I'm getting these boots. And so these, I love these boots they are so stinking comfortable and so i've worn this how many times have I, worn? I feel like i've worn this like five or six times um and i've actually worn these traipsing up and down michigan avenue so they have gotten somewhere but again they just wear really good but these are so comfortable and i know that they say louboutins are not comfortable listen you got to get a comfort you gotta you gotta get a heel you can walk in honey and so these are and what's the style i don't even know if they make the style anymore contravent contravent st st and they're stretch stretch napa 
but they always come out with some kind of variation of this boot um but yeah i got this at last call i didn't get this at the louboutin store so yeah again in south florida and now now we got a louboutin outlet I feel like I need to take y'all there because now we have a Louboutin outlet. They just opened a couple months ago, maybe like one or two months ago. And when I tell you they have all the shoes, they have all the shoes. So I haven't been to last call in the in like a couple weeks. I ain't gonna lie to you. I could say months, but no, a couple weeks. But I'm gonna see if I I'm gonna see if I can get some footage of um, the Louboutin outlet here at Sawgrass Smells because their prices may you know may um, may compete with Neiman's because that's where I usually get my not that I have a bunch, but ne uh, Neiman's Last Call and The Real Real. I've actually sold a lot of my Louboutins, not a lot, probably like three pairs of my Louboutins back because I was not wearing them. And so with The Real Real, I'm always exchanging things out. Like I'm about to send, oh, I love these Valentino, but I'm not wearing them. So I'm about to send these, a few, look at the dust. I'm about to send these and the other few things that are in my storage unit um, to The Real Real and put that money in something else. So like I have these Givenchy. I wore these for my birthday and then that was it. I'm just not, I could either sell stuff or start getting out of this rut and leaving my house. I leave my house, but you get what I'm saying? Like we used to, coming out of COVID, like I was in these streets all the time, right? Especially after daddy passed, I just wanted to be out and just with my friends. Now that life is kind of settling down, it's like, for me to put on a bra and drive to South Beach, I'm, just, I'm gonna do it though. I'm gonna get my life together. <laughs> thank you guys for this video please give me a thumbs up let me know that you want to see more pieces from my closet especially as we transition again i live in south florida but i have a passport and i have miles and i love to travel and see my family in canada and my friends in new york and my peeps in chicago chicago i owe you guys a visit so we're definitely going to be wearing some of these things there so yes if you like this content and you want to see more of my fall closet fall winter closet maybe even my storage unit give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Love you guys so much. Bye.